Good morning, guys. It is our third day in Prince Edward Island. And I just realized I forgot to close the vlog off again last night. <laughs> but after we had dinner, we just showered and just relaxed for the evening. So um, there wasn't really much else to show. And today we are going to the Anne of Green Gables Heritage Place and then um, Rustico Harbor and Charlottetown, right? That's the one that, yeah. Oh, and the Bottle Village, um, which it's open till midnight, so we're good. We're good either way. And this, it's like this Bottle Village that's about 10 minutes from where we are. It's like where we're staying. Um, and it's like a little miniature type village thing, all made out of glass bottles. Um, so we kind of slept in this morning. We decided to give ourselves a break from waking up early. And since we're only doing, you know, a few things today. Uh, also this morning I was woken up by some bird. I don't know what kind of bird it was because we couldn't see it, but it sounded like a screaming goat. Like it was making that screaming sound. It was pretty funny. So anyways, we're headed to the Heritage Place and I'm excited about that because that's the Green Gables house, obviously not the one used in the movie. The ones, they used two different ones in the movie and they are both in Ontario. Straight. Um, but this one is, I believe it, it's, um, from what I read, I think it's L.M. Montgomery's childhood home where she lived with her grandparents. And so um, it's believed to be the inspiration for Green Gables. So it does look like Green Gables. It's the white with the green. So and then you can do um, there's walking trails. So there's Lover's Lane. And Lover's Lane was used a bit to film Matthew and Anne's drive to Green Gables. And then there's the Haunted Woods. And then I believe at the end of these trails are, well, at the end of one I Turn think left. is her resting place in the cemetery. And then I think from what I read, the other trail ends up at the foundation of some other house that's of significance to her life. I can't remember which it is, but we will find out. And then North Rustico Harbor um, was also shown in the movie quite a bit. Sometimes it was in the background of Anne and Diana and also part of it was used in Anne and Matthew's drive to Green Gables as well. Continue straight. So we'll just be doing a quick stop there to see it and then heading to Charlottetown and then I think basically we'll just be walking around and maybe shopping for souvenirs or something like that. Oh and definitely getting cow's ice cream while we're there because apparently that's the ice cream to get. So it's going to be nice. It's a lot cooler today, but it actually wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be when we got out because it felt really cool coming in the window in our cabin, but it wasn't that bad. So I think it's going to be a really nice day again and looking forward to it. So we're probably going to be following the same routes we did before, so I won't bother filming any more scenery because I think I've pretty much captured as much of it as I can. So we will check in at the Heritage Place. Heritage Place. I keep wanting to say Heritage Center, but it's Heritage Place. Okay, so we made it and we're thinking we probably should have got here when it opened because now it's super busy and crowded, long lineups for admission. <laughs> So this is the like entrance area and they built in <laughs> gables from like
her first journal entry when she was 14. This is a picture uh, Montgomery took of her friend. <laughs> it's a creepy picture and you can't even make out the face. It's like a ghost. That's cool. Oh, it's not the actual one. May have. Okay, so we kind of thought this was funny. So they're showing course of writing. They have a tablet and it says Montgomery wrote her books by hand. Try your hand at cursive writing and imagine how it would feel to write an entire novel this way. We find it funny because we grew up with cursive writing and we know that a lot of schools are no longer teaching it. I think it's because a lot of schools aren't teaching it anymore. So for some kids it's like, what's cursive writing? That's hilarious. These are all the different um, reprints in many languages. There's wow. <laughs> Here's the one where she goes on a murderous rampage and wants to kill everyone. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting that. The face, look. It just looks like her face and face? Yeah, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah, there's like a lineup to get into the house right now. Let's do the trails first. <laughs> but there's Green Gable. Okay, 
we should have come here when it opened. <laughs> okay. We could have avoided it. Look at these. So pretty. the house that inspired the books. Green Gables is a fictional thing. Um, so they actually painted the house to make it look like it. But it's the house that um, I forget how they're connected family wise but like someone in her family lived here and she used to visit here a lot and it's the inspiration and as you can see other people come here. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Haunted Wood Trail first. Are you scared, dear? Not when it's broad daylight. <laughs> Just for nighttime, you probably think this would be. <laughs> yeah, but remember in the movie, she's like, it's always dark in the forest. I'm just going to be because light. <laughs> Are you deliciously scared? <laughs> That's the golf course, okay, so I keep going this way. That's cool. There's a lot of them. There's like more over here too. People have carved their initials into trees. Look, there's more back here. Assuming we don't go that way. No. That's the golf course. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't fall down any wells. Yes, I am. At least it's not too hot out. Perfect. Okay, so this is the site of the old schoolhouse. <laughs> it's literally a dead end in the woods. So that's what the school looked like. It's the school that she attended in 1895. And that's, <laughs> that's where it was in there. So now we're going to go to 
the site of her Cavendish home as well as the burial site. Okay, so um, the site of her home is somewhere over there, but we know that the house itself isn't there anymore. It's just the foundation you can look at and you have to pay a separate fee for that. So we've decided not to do that because <laughs> why would you pay just to look at a foundation? Um, so yeah, it's somewhere in those bushes over there. <laughs> so now we're going to the cemetery. So this is the cemetery she's buried in. And they have it, you know, that they have it. Died in 1876. Is that what that says? Yeah. Wow. So that was her mom, I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah, right but then, oh, the grandparents are here. I didn't see the arrows. So the grandparents are here. Died in 1898. In 1911. Okay, so we have a pathway that takes us right to her grave. Here we are. It's, up. it's right at the end of the walkway. and she was 1942. Okay, so now we're taking the path back to Green Gables and hopefully go through the house. are back to Green Gables. Have to climb up all those stairs. <laughs> I'm getting a workout. But it's worth it. Look at this path. Stopping for a snack. And to rest our feet. How's the fries and gravy? Good. 
to green. Oh, and guys, and Shirley's over there. of the house where we came out of so it's a very quick tour to go through the house I noticed that they didn't have any signage to read because there's so many people as you could see going through it that they want to keep it moving so it was so awesome I'm like I just I think it hasn't fully hit me <laughs> that I'm still here I teared up yesterday during our carriage ride and then I teared up again after the carriage ride we went in the gift shop and they were playing the Anna Green Gables theme song on the, the soundtrack on the radio in the gift shop and like as soon as I heard it I was like oh my gosh like it just made the experience like so much more surreal and I just started to like I almost started crying in the gift shop <laughs> but those were the only two times where I've been moved to tears I've just been mostly in awe of everything and I think it just really hasn't fully sunken in that I'm 
here and I'm seeing all these things like it's a very surreal experience. I've wanted to do this since I was a kid. I don't know. I don't remember how old I was the first time I saw the Anna Green Gables movies, but I'm guessing I was maybe around seven or eight. And I have wanted to come here ever since. And it's just, it's so gorgeous. 